Hello, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing, and today's class is what can SLM do for you? What can Scott Leroy Marketing do for you? Just like I just shared, if you are here with me live and you have any questions as we go along, please put those in the chat. I will try to get them answered for you. If not during class, definitely after class. And if you're watching this back on recording, you can always reach out to us at our email at Scott Leroy Marketing excuse me, support at scottleroymarketing.com. And I'm going to drop the links here again in the chat for the people that are here with us live. That way you have all of the links that you need. We're going to cover our um, scottleroymarketing.com site today. We're also going to go over your Keller Cloud completed setup email if you've gotten one of those from us here at Scott Leroy Marketing. So I can go through all the pieces of that with you as well. And then as time permits, we will also cover our scottleroymarketing.com website and YouTube channel um, just very briefly so that you have a general navigation and where you can find all of your goodies, right? All of your support services, all of your free templates, things like that. So let's go ahead and start with scottleroymarketing.com, our website. I'm going to drop the link again in the chat. I still got a few people coming in, so I want to make sure you've got access to that. So there's that link again for our website. And this is what our website looks like. We're going to go over your resources that are here today, but let's go ahead and first start with Number one, how to log into this site to get to your resources. And number two, we'll go over the questionnaire process together so that you know how to get set up and get all of your logins to your KW platforms. So right here on our website, if you scroll down just a little bit over here on the right hand side, look for the log in or log out feature. If it says log out, great, leave it alone. That means you're logged into the site and you should be able to access everything I'm going to show you today. If it says log in, go ahead and click that and enter your market center number. It's only the number that you need to enter, no punctuation or anything, and hit log in. Okay, this will allow you to access the resources that you um, need to get to on our website. So that's how you would log in. If you happen to click on anything else on our website as well, and it uh, again populates asking for another password, it's the same thing. Okay, that way you know how to get to everything you need. So let's talk about the questionnaire process. So if we work with your market center, then we actually have a questionnaire that you can fill out. And once you fill out that information and we receive it back, we work on getting all of your KW platforms set up for you. And also some additional third-party platforms like DocuSign or HomeKeeper. Canva even, um, things like that. I'm going to go over each one today. The way to get that to us, the way to fill out your questionnaire is right up here at the top of our website where it says agent resources questionnaires. Okay. Now you see several op options right here when you hover over questionnaires, and I'm just going to briefly cover which each one of these are so that you know the appropriate one to choose for yourself. And again, if this is all Greek to you, you have not heard anything about a questionnaire process with us, um, please double check with your market center staff to make sure that this is the process they use. Um, but however, since you're here in this class, I'm thinking you've probably already heard about it and either already submitted your questionnaire or you're looking to do that. Sorry, as I have to let people in through the waiting room, it makes the menu go away. So let's cover these questionnaires here. The first one is pretty self-explanatory, new agent. This means you have not been with KW previously, okay? The second is an admin. This means you're unlicensed and you're going to work as administrative staffing or administrative assistant. Next is admin to agent. You used to be an admin and now you've actually gotten your license and you're looking to actually get everything set up as if you were an agent. Next, capper, another self-explanatory one. If you are a capper, a producing agent that gets to cap every month, then this would be the correct questionnaire for you. Existing, this is kind of like your um, yearly 
doctor's checkup kind of thing. If you're an existing agent, you're not new. You didn't just make a business change like transfer from Market Center or anything. You just want to make sure that you have the latest setup, um, the latest offerings. So if you are one of those, you can definitely fill out this existing agent questionnaire and we will actually go through we won't change anything that you already have set up we will just go through and make sure that you have it and if you don't then we'll set it up for you make sure you have the most up to date next is expansion this is for an agent that is going to be active with more than one market center so if you're growing and you're just adding another market center or another location this would be the right one for you Next is hidden agent setup. Maybe you have not shared with your current broker that you will be transferring to KW, or maybe you're employed in a totally different field and you have not made the public announcement that you're going into real estate. Whatever the case may be, this is the questionnaire to fill out if you would not like to have any public facing marketing going out just yet. This means that we will not turn on the marketing or the branding on your website. We will not turn on your public profile on kw.com so you can't be found as an agent, things like that. So if for any reason you need to go ahead and get started a little bit and get set up, but you're just not ready to go live yet, this is the questionnaire for that. Let me let a couple of people in through the waiting room. There we go. Awesome. And coming right back to the questionnaires. Next, Market Center staff. If you are on staff, this is yours. If you're returning, this means you were with KW or a, even if it was a different KW Market Center altogether, you were with KW at some point in your career. You left KW maybe to go to another brokerage but now you're coming back home. You're coming back to KW. This would be the right questionnaire for you. And next is team. Maybe you joined a team and you need your team branding updated or maybe just created a team. We can go through and get that updated for you. And transfer agent. This is if you are going, you are leaving one KW market center and going over to another KW market center. Okay leaving one, starting at a new one. That would be transfer right here. Okay. That's just a brief overview of the different questionnaires that we have available on our website. If you have already completed one of those, chances are you have already received your Keller Cloud completed setup. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Let me get it moved over to my screen. This is an email that is from us, that is Keller Cloud Complete. It would have your name also in the subject line, and then it should have your market center number over on the right-hand side, okay? And it would have this giant big red welcome in the middle of your email. This usually takes one to two business days for us to get completed for you. However, our goal is always less than one. So if you I've found this in your email. I will go over it with you here briefly so you can follow along. If you're not seeing this in your email, you can always use the search bar at the top of your Gmail account. Use that search bar and look for maybe Keller Cloud right here or even the setup complete portion just to go ahead and search for those to see if you can find it. Sometimes it does go into spam. And if you're still not seeing it, definitely go to our website and pick whichever questionnaire is right for you and go ahead and submit that. We should be able to get this email again out to you within one to two business days. Once you get this email, when you scroll down, there'll be a link in red here that'll say, please click here to access all of your new information. Go ahead and click that link and it should open a new website. I'm actually going to open this in our browser here, just making a new tab. Pretend I just hit click, guys. <laughs> Same thing would come up if you, you press the click here button in that email. This is the screen that you will come to, okay? Just like on our website, you would want to enter your market center number here um, in order to access your logins. 
little pro tip, go ahead and bookmark this particular site right here. So then you don't always have to go fish around for that email if you need it. You can just click the star in the address bar at the top and save that to your bookmarks, okay? There we go. And so once you've done that, go ahead and plug in your Market Center number and click Submit. And now that you're here, this is your setup. I'm going to just scroll through quickly. I'm actually going to come back and go through every single item. I just want to show you it is a big, robust email. It is full of all of your logins, training links, good information about your setup. We're going to go through the whole thing together. But once you're here, Maybe you're more of a paper-oriented person, you, you're not too much on the digital just yet, and you actually want a handheld version to take with you somewhere or to put in your file. Once you're here on this screen, you can always press Control-P on your keyboard, and it should give you the option to go ahead and either print to PDF, if you would like it just to be a saved file on your computer, or go ahead and print it out to a printer, and that way you have a paper copy, okay? Coming back to the setup email here, at the very top, let's start here. All of this information is internal information. Don't worry, this is not for you to log into. You're not missing your 16-digit unlocking key. This is all internal stuff for our, our office, and so you can skip right over that. The very top, this is a video to help you see what all is within this email, so you can definitely reference this at any time if you need it, okay? And as you go down a little further, you'll see your SLM website password, just like I shared with you just a few moments ago. So your market center number should be right here. And it also lets you have a reference to go ahead and click here if you want to learn how to use our website. I'm actually going to cover that for you today, though, so you don't have to worry about it. Next, notes on your from your onboarding team. Now, this particular setup just has the general please reply with your professional biography and picture. Please know it is no rush on that, guys. Just whenever you have it, go ahead and send it back to us, and then we can get started on updating your command platform with your biography and your headshot. Um, both are updated in multiple places within command. If you would prefer to do it on your own, that's 100% okay. We actually can provide you the training resources to learn how to do that on your own. However, it's usually just a little quicker might as well leverage our services, right? Go ahead and send them to us and we can get them updated for you. Keep an eye on this particular section. Sometimes when we are doing setup, there is some reason why we may not be able to get something set up or we run into an error. And so that would be listed here if there's any further action for you to take. So definitely check in this section. Coming down. KW over here on the left. This is what you will hear us call your KW logins. Now, it is your command logins. When you go to agent.kw.com, this is that username and password you would use for that site, but it's also used on a few other sites like mykw.kw.com. Also, your command mobile app will use these same logins, as well as kwconnect.com, which is another resource site from KW for you. So you will hear them termed, termed your KW logins, also known as your command logins, okay? Over here to the right, oh, let me do say this too. Whenever a lot of people copy and paste these from their logins or from their setup email, and paste them into the command site, and then we get emails that it doesn't work, be very careful when you're copying that you're not getting like a little extra space before or after the password or username. That is nine out of 10 times the issue. So just be careful when copying and pasting those usernames. One space before or after will make it fail to log in, okay? Next, your G Suite. This is your KW email logins. You would go to gmail.com to log in to your KW inbox to get your email. And this is the email address, which would also be your login. And then your password will be listed right here. 
if for some reason your KW email address was created prior to us getting your account or getting your information to set you up, you should see previously set up listed here and there's no password listed. Maybe you're a returning agent and you had that previous KW email, but now you're coming back or something like that. So if you need any help actually accessing that email again, or maybe just resetting that password, just let us know. We can help with that. There's some further links down here at the bottom helping you with your KW email. One that I want to specifically highlight is right here. It's to set up the two-step verification methods on your KW email. Definitely go ahead and do that, not just for a security standpoint, but also Gmail requires verification methods to be added to your email account. Otherwise, whenever you go to log in, if it doesn't have a number to text you or a way to send you a code or an email, another email to send for you that would be a recovery email, then it, you may get a message that says Google was unable to verify the account belongs to you. Please try again and it'll send you in a couple of loops. So definitely once you get your KW email, make sure that you go and click on that click here link and add your verification methods to your KW email, okay? All right, scrolling on down. Next is going to be your KW agent site. It should be listed right here with a link right underneath, okay? One thing to note, the KW agent sites are not compatible with WWW. So be really careful when you go to create your marketing for your KW agent site. It will only use HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. Or you can just leave off that first half and just have it be your actual URL right here. Like ours is scottleroymarketing.kw.com. Then it will still go to the right place. But if you're wanting it to be an active link, meaning a consumer can touch it one time and immediately be taken to your website, make sure that first part's added on right there and you should be good to go. Okay. Next, KW Agent Profile. This is when you go to KW.com or a consumer does. They go to KW.com and they actually click the Find an Agent. So let me show you where that is. So again, KW.com. Patricia, you said, I'm having problems with my QR code and sharing it. Patricia, if you'll send us the QR code you're referencing oh, and the problem that you're actually having with sharing it, we'll be happy to take a look at that for you. You would just want to send it to our email address up there. If you need that link again, if you don't see it in the chat, just let me know. Okay. But we can definitely take a look at that. Since it's a troubleshooting, we'd want to be able to look at your specific items. So I could be able to tell you what what's actually going on there. So right here on your screen, I went to kw.com just like a consumer would. And we go to find a KW agent right here. This is where your agent profile would populate. And Latricia, since we were just talking, I'm going to try you <laughs> since I see your name right here. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and choose that particular agent right here. And Latricia, I don't know if that's you or a different one, but this is what your agent profile will look like on kw.com. It will pull your headshot from coming. It is you. Awesome. Giving you a little, a little shout out here. <laughs> so this should show your name, your headshot from command. It will also have your website, email, and phone number, and it'll have the location of your market center listed right here. And that consumer will have an option to reach out and connect with you right here from kw.com. So that is what you will see going back to our setup email here, the kw.com agent profile, that's that, okay? Command email. This is the email, I keep trying to highlight it, let me try it that way, there we go. Command email is the type of email platform command uses to send your marketing emails out. If you haven't checked it out yet, we have a lot of other classes that go over things like email campaigns and smart plans. Also, there's a third way to email your clients or contacts through command, and that would just be with like one-off emails. It all uses command email 
which is a great benefit, guys, because a lot of times if you try to use your personal inbox to send bulk emails or mass emails, you might get blocked um, for spamming people. And so Command having its own email platform prevents that from happening so that you can send out bulk emails and you don't have to worry about getting um, possibly your email being shut down or suspended for sending mass emails. This email address right here should reflect your business email. Whatever you have set as your preferred business email, that is the email you should see listed right here. So command email will send out an email from your command from a different email address. It'll say agent with a bunch of numbers at mailer.kw.com. But any replies to your marketing would come right here to your business email. So this is where you will receive emails back from any of your consumers that are replying to your business emails or your marketing emails through command. Next, KW Consumer App Link. If you are a licensed agent and you hold the role of agent with your market center, then you should have a KW Consumer App Link. This is a link that a consumer can use and as soon as they click on it, they'll be prompted to download your consumer app and it will be branded automatically to you. As soon as they either sign up or log in, you should receive a notification of a new lead and you now have Big Brother access where you can track every listing they view, every listing they like, and they can even send you messages and request showings through your app. There's even a seller's tab on there as well where they can actually look into the equity of their current home and have a, a little resource there as well. So it's not just for buyers. Definitely go and check out our consumer mobile app class if you haven't check that out yet and it will explain more but that is your link that you can include on your marketing right there keller home loans personal link this is just some resources here that will be branded for you and they do have some resources as far as home loans marketing items things like that if you would like to share keller home loans with your contacts keller covered is also very similar. You have a portal there where you can go look at branded marketing items if you want to share Keller Covered. If you're not familiar with that, that is the insurance. Um, so they offer different insurances through that site. Next is Twilio. Twilio is completely optional. However, Purchasing a Twilio account through your command account will allow you to bulk text your contacts. It's pretty great. It's some big time leverage if you're interested in that when you want to start nurturing your database or reaching out to new leads. You can definitely look into purchasing a Twilio account. You would need to do it through command. And so that's why the link right underneath is please purchase this in the marketplace. So you would go here to do that. And we even have a resource here that shares how to do that. Okay. Next, DocuSign. DocuSign is one of those third-party platforms that I was talking to you about. This is a platform where you can go for most offices and access your market center forms. Also, your MLS board forms. It's where you would edit them and send them to clients to get signatures, okay? And so if you did not have account already set up or created, then we most likely created an account for you and your DocuSign logins are right here. There's a few links below to help you navigate the DocuSign platform. Just let us know if you have any questions. One particular thing that's a little um, persnickety about this DocuSign setup is the security question right at the bottom. If we set it up for you and you need to change the password or maybe you got locked out for some reason and it asks you for your security answer, make sure that when you put the answer in, it's identical to this right here. It needs to have those periods, not hyphens, okay? So whatever this looks like right here, just make sure it's identical. Next is HomeKeeper over to the right. We do not normally, well, let me say it this way. We set this up for most offices, but not all. 
Um, so if you see it here on your setup, what it is, is it is a platform that will help you track lead activity um, when it comes to different platforms or utility services, things like that. So it's just a way to interact with your, well, excuse me, track your leads and their performance. You can go and use those logins to that Homekeeper site if you would like. This is optional. It's just a little added benefit feature that we try to give you. Another resource. And coming on down, Calendly. This says Calendly. We actually just swapped over to Tidy Cal. Um, and so chances are if you've just recently gotten set up or you're going to be set up in the future, you should see Tidy Cal listed here with a username and password. That is a way that consumers can schedule appointments with you. And so it's like an online calendar that they would have access to to schedule appointments. You get to control the time windows or the time frames that are open and even share that link with consumers so they can go on and have the convenience of scheduling with you. It makes it a lot easier than you texting back and forth and trying to say, are you available this day? How about this day? How about this time? No, this time, right? And so it makes it a little easier. We can even add... Um, a link to that to a KW agent site page for you so that it's available on your website. Just let us know if you want us to do that. Bling.me. This is a digital business card. It's pretty snazzy. We'll get you set up with it. We'll create that dis digital business card based on the information you provided in your questionnaire. And this, these are the logins if you want to go and edit that information or look at more of their services. And down here is your actual shareable link. When you click that, it will take you to a site that has clickable links for all of your information, phone number, website, any social platform links that you added, things like that. Coming on down, you'll see Zoom. We can set you up a free Zoom account, and that way you have another platform where you can have face-to-face -face or audio meetings with people in your business, preferred vendors, your contacts, your clients, whoever. Um, but th these are your logins for that platform. If Remember when I said your KW email, if it was set up prior to us, then we don't have the password. It will say previously set up. If that's the case and we don't have access to your KW email, then for these two services right here, Tidy Cal or Calendly, Zoom and Canva would be over here to the right. For those three services, you would actually say, or you would actually see that we were unable to set it up because we couldn't sign into your email. We do have to sign into your KW inbox in order to get those three set up for you. So if you're not seeing them on your setup, just reply to that email and give us your KW email and password, and we can look at getting those three set up for you. Latricia, you said you're missing out. Yeah, if you don't have these yet, definitely reach out to us or fill out that existing agent questionnaire I showed at the beginning of class, that little link. Um, that is the way to fill out your questionnaire so that we can make sure you have these things set up. We will go to Tidy Cal, Zoom, and also um, Canva. It blanked on me for a second and see if you already have them set up. And if not, we can get them set up for you. If that's the only thing you're missing and you don't want to um, have to go through all those steps to get them set up, you can also just email us your KW email and password and say, hey, I want Tidy Cal Zoom and Canva and we'll get started on that for you. Okay. Coming on down, you'll see some helpful resources down here at the bottom and next steps listed. These do change per market center that you're with, as well as the support numbers and email addresses that are below that. So just keep an eye on that. Um, and on, for your market center, if it doesn't look exactly like mine, it's okay. These usually are customized for the market center that you're in, but definitely check them out. There's some great websites here. Well, some of my favorites right here at the top. These are royal free, royalty free media sites. You can go and get free stock images there. Lots of good resources. It's one of my favorites. Um, and so, yeah, definitely go and check it out. 
down here under next steps, there's also some great next steps for us to get set up for you. So you can go and check those out, like sending us your contacts so that we can get them added into command for you. Also, how to announce your move to Keller Williams and a 30 day jumpstart challenge right here um, from us that you can go ahead and click on to help get started and know what do you do next when you show up? When I became a realtor years and years ago, I remember showing up to the office the next day and not knowing what I was supposed to do. There was nothing to do. Um, there was no training. There was no SLM for me to get started with. And so sometimes it is hard to know what's the next right step for you. This is that. Okay. So this is what your Keller Cloud completed setup looks like. Okay. So we just reviewed that. And so now let's go ahead and go back to our scottleroymarketing.com website and we will continue covering the resources that are free here for you as well as some training and some free templates and free marketing. So from right here, remember we went to scottleroymarketing.com, okay, and Agent resources right at the top. Let me zoom in a little bit. If that's too small for you guys, let me know. But agent resources right here. And we just covered the questionnaires. So I'm going to cover the other items in this list for you here. The next being our new KW agent websites. Now this may already be covered just because we are past that magic August 15th date. Um, KW had a quote-unquote legacy version of the KW agent websites and as of August 15th all of the sites were supposed to be manually transitioned over to the new platform and the new look and there were some things to do before that like saving some of your custom information saving your landing pages things like that before the transition even though we are past August 15th, we've still seen in some cases where some things still need to be updated. So I still want to cover this in our class today just to let you know if by chance you have any question that your site may be the legacy version and not the new version, you can always come right here to new KW agent site. I'm going to open this in a new tab just by clicking on it. And on this particular page, you can scroll down and number one, it shows you our training, right? But below that, you can see our YouTube playlist linked right here for you on about the websites. You can watch a video of what to do before launching the new website. And then there's lots of links below how to preserve your landing pages, save your existing school search, spot check your marketing profile. There's a lot of little things to do just to make sure that your information was retained and or updated um, when launching that new site. So all the resources are right here, including how to actually launch it once you've retained all of your information. Okay, so if you have any questions at all about that, let us know. But the resources are here just in case you still need them. Okay, I'm going to close that and come back to the site. We're going to agent resources again at the top. And now the third one is live webinars. If I click this, it brings us right into this Zoom. So if it's between 1 and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can just come right here and click this button and it will bring you right to the live class. Next is training. Training calendar is listed right here. So I'm going to click on that and take you there next. You more than likely already have seen this, but if you ever want to join the live webinar, here is a link as well. Okay. Down below that, we do have some You Choose Friday classes where you can come and choose and vote which class you want to see on that day, and it will give you an option, okay? Option of usually three. Coming on down will be our actual class schedule. When you click on the day and the name of the class, the Zoom link is right there in it if you need it. Okay, you do have an option to copy to your calendar. In fact, if you want to add this entire calendar to your KW email calendar, you can come right down here at the bottom and click the plus sign and follow the prompts. 
and then these classes will populate on your KW G Suite or Google Calendar, okay? Coming on down from that, if your leadership or maybe you just want a PDF version of our classes, that's available down here at the bottom, letting you see August classes and then September's classes below that. And down below that is kind of an overview of what each class is and what it does. We are rolling out some new classes too, so they may or may not be in this list just yet, um, but you can always reach out to us if you have a question about what any of them are, okay? Coming on back up to Agent Resources, going back to training. Next is SLM, oh, SLM Challenges. Getting a little excited with, with the mouse there, sorry. So SLM Challenges. This is where you can go, again, like I mentioned, the 30-day challenge, the jumpstart challenge, things like that. If you actually want to have a daily challenge of something to do where you can work on your business and get it, get it ready to move forward, right? Start generating some business. Definitely come and check out our SLM challenges right there. Keller Cloud Cheat Sheets. Show you this real quick. This is Information Central right here. If you need to know how to do some things, um, right here are a ton of links. Maybe you need to learn opportunities. Maybe you need to learn DocuSign. Anything that's a topic listed here, oh, we're fixing to start goals and reports. That's good. So we actually have a class on tasks and reports that covers goals um, on our YouTube channel. So if that's what you're looking for, you can definitely come there. But everything else listed here, notice it's a hyperlink. So you can come here and click and it should take you to training resources. Okay. Going back to agent resources, back to training. Coming on down to digital marketing tips. So if you're looking for some digital marketing tips, this is your stop. And we also have some tech 101 resources just to help if you're learning tech, um, some of the basics that will apply to more devices than not, you can always check that out. After our training here, let me show you our agent support. Oh, I'm sorry. The recorded training classes are right here as well. It's just quick links to our YouTube channel. If you want to stay on our site and go to them from here, you can. Um, but these are just the recorded training classes, just like you're in right now. Okay, it's the archives for them. And agent support. This is another one of my favorite pages here. Just letting that open for a second. If there's things that you need help with in command or other KW platforms, this is a great place to come. Instead of emailing us, this actually is a little bit faster because when you click on one of these links, it's going to have you fill out a form that asks you for all the information we need. And so as soon as you hit submit, we get to start working on that request from you. When you email us, sometimes we have to ask you for a few more pieces of information. So that's why it's a little faster coming here to the website. But things like updating your bio, we actually can help you now create a bio using AI. So if you need help writing one of those, we have a form for that. Also importing your database and updating database contact information like for a smart plan this or to get a smart plan started so that it will reach out your command system will reach out to your database to help update contact information and fill out your database this right here there's a link for it next is marketing support we have a new newsletter that we can actually send out to your database for you Right here, the content is already created, so that takes the hard part out of it. And we have some other things like new marketing templates, um, smart plans set up. Coming on down, if you're just getting started, these are a lot of practical things to come and check out. Um, so definitely take a look. We were talking about QR codes earlier with Latricia. That is something that we can help do. And a little further is if you're looking to rebrand, maybe you left a team or you need to update your business phone number, um, business email address, maybe you want to update your website address, you see the point. If you're looking to rebrand, here's your set of support services we can offer to help get that done for you. If you don't see specifically what you're looking for, definitely shoot us an email. And if it's something our team can help with, we will definitely do so. 
below that is website support. This is where we can let you see that's asking how I got here. I'm going to drop the link in the chat for you, my friend. There you go. That's our, re our support page or support services on our website, scottleroymarketing.com. And so down here under website support, there's a lot of things like maybe you bought a custom URL and you want it to point to your KW agent site. Maybe you would like to have some of these additional pages set up on your website. Maybe you would like to have Google Analytics set up for your website so that you can track the traffic. Things like that. They're all here. Definitely check those out. And down at the bottom, build your business. Remember I was saying that you could reach out to us so that we could connect or create, excuse me, your Canva and Zoom or TidyCal accounts and the Bling digital business card. Well, maybe you don't want all of them and you just want a few of them or one. You can come here and select that and submit it to us and we'll get it set up for you that way. We do have some compliance updates depending on the state and location that you're in. In leadership, we also have additional resources available for you down here to include setting up an email signature for you as leadership. Okay. Last but not least, let's go back up to our agent resources. We're going to skip over leadership support and come to templates. We have two options for templates, guys. The first one are free templates for you if you want to make your own marketing. I'll go ahead and click that, show you what it looks like. Coming down a little bit, on the left we have leadership templates. So you have some options here if you are staff for templates that you can use for birthdays, anniversaries, maybe top 30, and so on. On the right are agent templates. These are for like listing social posts, flyers, email signatures, and postcards. You would simply click the link and it will give you an option to download these templates right into your Canva account. If you don't want to do this on your own, if you don't just want a free template and have to create it, you can always come up to Agent Resources, Templates, Agent Concierge right here. This is where we do it for you. Okay, and it's free. So you'll come down. You can look through some of our most popular designs here, social posts, flyers, or postcards. The page updated, just a second. There we go. Let me scroll back on down. And so you can flip through these and find one that you like or just peruse what we do have to offer here. And once you're ready, you can come up here to this form and click the start button and follow the prompts. You'll give us your information, you'll pick your template that you like, and within 24 hours, we will get that created for you and sent right back. And that way you don't have to create it on your own, okay? So those are some free marketing um, services that we can provide for you. And last but not least, let's just go take a gander at our YouTube channel just so you know where you can find tech tip videos and our class archives. So in a new tab here, I'm going to go to our YouTube channel. I'm also going to drop that link in the chat here for everybody that's with me. And once you're here at our YouTube channel, there's a magnifying glass right here where you can keyword search. Like today's class, what can SLM do for you? So you can come to what can SLM do or any version of that. And it should pull our classes that we've taught on this. Just pay attention to the age of them. Like this is two months old. If you come down a little further, there's another two month, three month. But then down here is three weeks. Okay, so they're not in necessary order the way that YouTube, YouTube's algorithm pulls them. So they don't go in most recent at the top. Um, so just hunt for that age. You want to look for the most recent one, which will have the most updated tech information for you. But once class is over, if you want to go back through, follow along in your own, on your own for our website or something like that, it's a great place to come here and find that class archive so that you can do that. Okay, as well as our other tech tip videos that are available in here, like let's say import contacts to your command. 
but you want to do it through like maybe your phone to your command mobile app. We have a video for that right here. Import phone contacts with command mobile. We'll put them right into your command for you. And so you can find our tech tip videos that are here just by keyword searching whatever you're looking for help with. Okay. Along with all of our other classes as well. And all right, guys, that is the end of our class today of what SLM can do for you. If you are watching this back on recording and you have any questions, definitely reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to help. And if you're here with me live and you still have questions, definitely drop those in the chat. I'm going to stay for a couple of minutes and make sure I get those answered for you. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.